These guys are pretty cool. Subscribe. <laughs> Joining us today is Casey Potts from Casey's Kitchen. Hey, Casey. How's Welcome. it going? Welcome it's going awesome. Thank, Thank you for you. coming. Thanks for having me. All right. So I, I'm going to come straight out of the gate. Okay. we got to test your knowledge. Okay. Is there, is there a certain kind of food that you won't touch, that you don't like, that you'll never eat? Um, you know what? I thought that I would not touch Indian food, okay. but my friends are warming me up to it, and I think I'm ready to try it. All right. But for a while, that was it. You haven't tried it at all? I haven't. Are you going to go straight, like, nuclear hot? Or are you going to ease into the... No, I need to ease into it, for sure. I uh, I think it's because my freshman year of college, I lived in an apartment with a lot of ethnic people. That'll do it. And all yep. I smelled was curry. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. I ran. All right. okay. yeah. I ran. ran my we get, uh, there's some great Indian food in town, although I think you have to go out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is it Arcadia? Is it where all the good... Uh, yeah. Ar Artesia. I always say the wrong words. Artesia, not Arcadia. Artesia is where the great Glad that the, food our is. fact checkers. Yeah, we have a fact checker right here. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick McGilligan off camera. Well, what about fried chicken? Are you are you a fried chicken fan? Because um, I love me some fried chicken. You know oh. what? I'm I'm a grilled. You know, oh, I'm a grilled kind of girl. Uh, right. The fried chicken just does a little grilled chicken a little then. Too much for me. Is do you have a spot? I don't. All I'm right. still new here. I'm still new to the area. Oh, really? How long? Yeah. Uh, a year next month. All right. Yeah. Wow. So, so I'm still to a, Los a Angeles maybe. entirely, or yeah, just to, oh, well wow. to the West Coast, Los Angeles West Coast. entirely. So where entirely. where did you move from? From Boston. From okay. Boston. Yeah. All right. What okay. do you miss, food wise? Yeah. Lobster rolls. You know, there's oh. a lobster truck. Have you tried theirs? I haven't. Okay. I'm, I'm I've heard a good things. worried because every lobster tail and everything that I've seen out here, mm -hmm. that's not lobster. Yeah. It does not look oh. the same. Oh no. No no no. Well, what's the difference? What do you see? Different between the Boston style? Physically, it's, yeah. I mean, there's a difference between Maine lobster and you get a lot of rock lobster out okay. here, too. And um, the tails are much wider. You get a lot more meat and it's a lot sweeter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back east, so. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. miss it. And it's so yeah. much cheaper. The lobster roll really <laughs> yeah. is kind yeah, of a brilliant true. thing. Fantastic. Yeah. I wish we had more access that, to that here. Because, you know, people come visit and they're like, oh, well, it's you're on a coast. We'll go get some, <laughs> some yeah. seafood. And you're like, well. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that, but this isn't exactly sushi. Thing. <laughs> my, my favorite thing about lobster, I have a uh, a plush lobster because my family we used to like go vacation like around Boston yeah. and Rockport. I don't know if you know Rockport yeah. up there, but uh, <laughs> there was a tag on the stuffed lobster that was like lobster used to be only eaten in private by the desperate. <laughs> And this is on the stuffed animal. This is on the stuffed animal, yeah, because it did not, it was like, it did not used to be a luxury food. It was, uh, Well, so should we start a truck that has, like, jerk-off booths, but for eating lobster? <laughs> yes. If you are desperate to need your privacy for your lobster. And there's just some sort of poor son of a bitch has to come in after you with a mop and clean up all the The lobster butter. juice that's everywhere. The butter, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You hand them yeah. the bib of shame. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm not letting the fried chicken thing go, though, because I, do, do you, you have a place you like? I mean, I like Honey Kettle over here. Honey, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, Honey Kettle is good. They do the, they call it like uh, steam fried or, or kettle fried, yeah, right? Yeah, kettle fried. Yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. A, they clamp a lid on it and like pressure fried or something. Right, I don't right, know right, if it right. makes it better, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Their yeah. biscuits are damn good, too. Uh, I like well, the if you have a good chicken joint uh, and don't recommend uh, KFC. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Please That's don't. for something different. Um, well, no, but if you yeah. have a chicken joint that you dig, like, Send us an email at uh, podcast at LA Foodie and tell us because I, I feel like uh, fried chicken and what was the first one that we were talking about? Uh, uh, cookies or pizza? Yeah, or cookies. Yeah. Cookies. Oh, I just yeah. like I, I have got a no... good cookie place for oh, you. Yeah? Oh yeah. Oh, what is go? it? Beverly Hills, okay. Camden Drive, Chop Chop. It's okay. A new Chop. lunch right? New lunch spot. That's okay. primarily well, that used to be out. downtown Culver City, right? Did it used to? Oh no, I know. It's I think that was just Chop or oh, something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this different. is Chop Chop. This is. C H O P P E. So it's oh. Oh. Beverly Hills. Oh, oh yes, yes. Um, but yeah. best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had in my life. Wow. It is phenomenal. They're cheap too. It's a buck fifty for two cookies. Oh, all right. So I dig it. What, what kind of what kind of size are we talking like? It's good size, okay. about that big and okay. thick too. Oh, all right. So they have chocolate chip, they have uh, white chocolate. Bing cherry and then oatmeal raisin. Ooh, white do, chocolate Bing I cherry. I do like a cherry. I, I'm not so hot good. on the white chocolate. They were myself. out of chocolate chip the other day, so I oh. had to settle for the white chocolate. The white chocolate. Uh -huh. How did it wasn't go? too bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It was a decent supplement, but not good as. Is there the is there some sp uh, particular flavor in this chocolate chip cookie, like a maybe a cinnamon or something that really kind of makes it stand I out, or is it just? A, it's really dark, so I think they might put a little bit molasses in mm, it or something. Right. Yeah, I like but that. Yeah. It's soft. It's warm. It's amazing. All right. Okay. All right. So. Well, let's talk about um, 
blogging for the dish, can we? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Because we were we were reading earlier, and uh, I don't know, are they all bylined? Do you sign each one for the dish? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I or am you on do, Tuesdays. You, okay, so, so you have okay. recipes or something, yep. right? Okay. So yeah, I um I submit some recipes, and every recipe that I do is either very easy or a swap out kind of thing. So okay. it okay. can look decadent, but you can make it healthy, oh, or nice. um, it will look expensive, but you made it really cheap kind of no, thing. Not bad. So, okay. so what would be an example of uh, making something look fancy, but saving some money doing it? Um, well, actually, one of the desserts I made for you guys, it's a cheesecake flavor. So you would think that you know you have all the ingredients and the rich and the dense cheesecake, but it's actually just cheesecake jello pudding. Okay. And you whip it in with Cool Whip and okay. you let it set. It does everything on its own. It gives your tongue the same taste that you want out of cheesecake, but you get a lot less calories and it's I'm super glad easy. that this is the next segment of the show, by the way. Yeah, that's, 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 that's why we right did it up. this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, in fact, should we just go right into yes. it? I think uh, it's, you just want food now. Don't I mean, you? yeah, normally we do yeah. a restaurant review, but today, since uh, we're talking about all this food, I think we just need to get right into it. I think it's time for a new segment called Ellie Foodie Chow Time. <laughs> 